Hello everyone, welcome to the Kimmy Channel. Hello everyone, welcome to the Kimmy Channel. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to get into language school. So I'm actually here today at Gogo Nihon to ask all the questions that you guys have been asking. So, this is Chris. <laughs> and we are going to get into the nitty gritty of language school in Japan. All right. All right, let's do it. Can you give everyone a brief, just sort of rundown mm -hmm. of what Gogo Nihon does? Okay, sure. So, Gogo Nihon is a free support service to help、uh, students live and study in Japan. We support them in、uh, applying for the school, finding a school, applying for the visa, finding accommodation, and also after arrival support. Oh, that's great. Okay, yeah. You know, when you normally apply to a Japanese language school through、uh, the language school, this is the application、oh, process.、Okay. Six to eight pages. In Japanese. Half of it is in Japanese with a very, very poor translation. You know, this is usually what the application process looks like. So, a headache. Got it, okay. <laughs> a huge, huge headache. And what we do here at Gogo Nihon is we make sure that the application process is you know, online. It's very, very easy,、uh, as you can see here. Yeah.、Um, and it's really, really easy for you guys to understand how to apply and pretty much start your life in Japan. I find that most. Resources for like, Japanese schools don't have online sign ups. Oh, definitely not. And it's like, I'm just not used to paper anymore, so that's a big help. For me, I、yeah. applied to come to language school in Japan as well. In the beginning, they sent me an application form in an Excel file, first of all. Which you're just like. The Excel file.、Oh, I forgot man, about it. It's always Excel. Excel file. <laughs> and I'm trying to learn this language, but the form was in Japanese. I'm like, I don't even know hiragana or katakana yet. <laughs> They're like, boom, here's some kanji. <laughs> Here it is, and you're just like, oh no. What's like the perks of a language school? Okay, so I mean, it's not for everyone, to be, to be quite honest. Language school is for people that really want to stay in Japan long term,、mm -hmm. um, really see that their future in Japan. Yeah.、Uh, so, I mean, what I tell people is that if you want to live in Japan long term, you need to learn the language. That's,、yeah. That is king. It's like, like 101. <laughs> yeah, that's 101.、Um, that's without a doubt the most important thing you need to do if you want to、uh, live in Japan long term. And a lot of people, if they come here、uh, initially to work, Mm -hmm. uh, they lose focus. They, they get, they, they're surrounded by this English or their native language bubble. English teachers, they'll get pigeonholed into a career of English teaching,、yeah. which they might not want to do.、Yeah. Um, but if you come here、uh, and you learn the language for about one year, you're going to be able to be proficient enough、mm. to. You know, take the next step you know,、yeah. to where, whatever else you want to do、uh, in Japan in the future. And、yeah. learning Japanese and knowing Japanese is the absolute key.、Like、is there anything to avoid or to look out for in the whole like, student process? If you go in Google, you type in a Google search, be like, language schools in Japan or language schools in Tokyo, and each language school in Google is going to be like, we're the best. No, we're the best. No, we're the best. Oh, no, we're the best.、Uh, there are schools that are really strong at preparing you for the JLPT, whereas there are other schools that are really bad at that, and they're really good at For example, helping you find employment or、mm. helping you、uh, enter university.、Mm. There are so many different types of language schools in Japan, but <laughs> we've seen all the language schools here and we know which ones prepare the students best for which particular type of student there is. Yeah, that's great.、Um, so I just wanted to clarify because I know that when I first heard about Gogo Nihon when I was looking online, they would say, like, this is a free service. I'm like,、mm -hmm. yeah, but how much of it is free? Or, like,、mm -hmm. what actually is? And I think that's probably going to be like the big like, question mark. Absolutely. Our support in You know, helping introduce a,、uh, the language school or finding a language school,、uh, applying for the visa,、mm -hmm. accommodation, all of that、uh, for the student is 100% free. You know, all the fees that、um, are in terms of the school,、uh, real estate, all of that. You pay directly to them.、Mm. So we don't take any of that money. You have the option to always pay directly to the schools,、yeah. uh, to housing. You just skip the headache of getting to there. Exactly. For free. Exactly. So, <laughs> so here's、um, some questions from you guys that you asked and wanted to make sure we did that. What can you actually learn in the language school? What are they actually offering? Is it really depends、uh, what kind of program you are looking for. For example, if you're looking for more of a Test oriented program,、mm. they're going to be pretty much grilling you on grammar,、uh, reading, so on and so forth, not so much writing or、mm. conversation.、Uh, but if you look, are looking for a conversation based program,、mm. they you know, do more of that.、Uh, but essentially, it looks like、uh, it's like three, three and a half hours of school every day, Monday through Friday.、Mm. Um, it's usually four different classes,、uh, morning or afternoon classes. It's、mm. one or the other. Do they have any business classes by any chance? They do.、Uh, in, the, in the upper levels, they have a lot of different、uh, electives that you can choose from、ah. JLPT, EJU, business. Uh, conversation, reading, writing, so on and so forth. Oh, sweet. Okay. You know, if you let us know exactly what you're looking for, we can tell you exactly what a sample schedule might look like. Do you need a certain degree to go to language school in Japan? 
Great question. You do not have to have a degree, but of course having a degree really helps you, sets you up for the next step after yeah. language school, but you don't have to have a degree in order to study Japanese. You don't even have to be a student, actually. You yeah. Know, our, our, the oldest student that we've helped so far has been 65. Yeah. Wow. You have to at least have uh, high school. Okay. Yeah, that's the minimum requirement. Uh, if you've completed at least 11 years, mm. there's language programs or language schools that fill in that last year. Oh, that's sweet. With a lot of people program. are asking about like high school programs that they can like start at the high school level before they go into college. Right. We do have a program, um, an e-track program, yeah. which is a four-year bachelor's degree program at Tokyo International University that's taught completely in English. And yeah, that's also an option too. Yeah. Is there anything else in the Yeah. Lineup? So we also help with uh, vocational schools. Mm. Uh, we have a few vocational schools lined up. Like basically... Like trade schools. Trade schools exactly, like exactly. That. Like IT. Yeah, art and design. Um, yeah, Any uh, computer graphics. There? Actually, yes. <laughs> ah. Yes. Yes. So we also do study... Uh, uh, these things called study trips. Um, if you want to go all in on Japan, yeah. but you've never been to Japan before or never been a student in Japan before. It's a little daunting. So we offer these things called study trips, which is like a traditional tour package and a language study put together. So you see the country, learn the language, and get a feel kind of like for everything. With people from all over the world. Three hour language study in the morning. Yeah. And then a tour option uh, in the afternoon. Oh, that's great. So like, if you're looking for a little teaser, that's definitely a great, I think Absolutely. That's a great idea. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just letting you guys know in the future, I'm going to be doing a couple little extra specials on this channel with Gogo Nihon. So about language school, I'm going to actually visit one. I'm going to go on a study trip and meet some of the students there. I'm basically going to be a guinea pig through Gogo Nihon. Um, so we can see it firsthand. Also, um, we have an Instagram mm. that we always upload a lot of stuff that oh, we're that's doing. Great. You know, we do a lot of personal stuff. Hey, here we're doing this. Yeah. Uh, oh, so <laughs> we're, we're sharing like daily life in Japan. So yeah. So if you really want to see like firsthand, you can yeah. check those out. Okay, Absolutely. I'll put those here and underneath, so you can check it out. Okay, Chris. Well, thanks for all these questions. All right, I just threw around you with, and um, we're gonna see more Bowen Home stuff in the next few videos. Look at these guys right here. <laughs> All right. Awesome. <laughs> so I will see you guys soon in the next adventure with Kalani Hon. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>